Hello, and welcome back to our Down the Rabbit Hole series. Today we will be talking about... The Queen and Ruler of the Lands Between... She is literally the first name we hear upon starting the game. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. But, if we listen closely, the intro is very confusing. It starts by telling us the Elden Ring was shattered. The great Elden Ring was shattered. Then, proceeds to tell us that the power from the fragments of the ring is what gave the demigods the power to cause the shattering. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. I'm not sure what that is supposed to imply, so let's continue talking about. The goddess Merica originally came from the lands of the Newman, which the word Newman literally means divine will, divinity, or god. She was an Empyrean who ascended to godhood, and became ruler of the lands between, with the assistance of, the greater will. Merica had a male half by the name of Radagon. While having separate bodies and motives, they were in truth one and the same. This is a huge revelation, and even causes the ever-brilliant gold mask to die in disbelief. Achieving Godhood, as the vessel of the Elden Ring, Merica then took Godfrey as a consort, earning him the title, First, Elden, Lord. How do you like that for prestigious? Merica and Godfrey would have at least three children. Godwin the Golden and the Twins, the Omen King. And, the Lord of Blood. The Twins, were born cursed, as Omens, and were hidden in the depths below the capital. Knowing now that the Omen Curse is also the Seedbed Curse, I believe that they were the offspring of Merica and Godwin. We have to remember that the story is one of George R. R. Martin's. There is a high probability that incest is unfortunately a theme. They could also be a product of Merica and the Dung Eater, or of one of the corpses that he defiled, as we read on the Seedbed Curse, item description. She also had more children, all cursed as well, but strangely not with the same omen curse. These three seem to have been cursed by their own separate outer gods. Is this why Merica changed into Radagon? To try to prevent the spread of the seedbed curse, or other curses? It is very strange and inconsistent how the latter of the children seem to have no curse at all. I also have a theory that Merica the Eternal is actually the former master of Torrent as well. I will explain. A bell that is given to us by Ronnie. She tells us that the bell is a gift from Torrent's previous master. When we receive the bell, we also receive the Lone Wolf Ashes. It is not until much later, after a major boss fight, that we can see this monument, with Queen Merica, sitting with three wolves, under the fully completed, Elden Ring. Even though her story is over, there are so many unanswered questions about our queen. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and please, be sure to tell me what you think down in the comments. And, until next time, peace.